Hi and welcome back again. Today's couple of kits I'm looking at are cheese servers and baby spoons. Um, I'm not going to make both and I've made one already but I'm just going to show you a little trick with them. This, this video is really more to show you the, the, the kits than, than anything else. Um, I'll start off with the cheese servers. This is one kit, they come in a pair um, and you will see they have a central shaft down there and a little knob on the end. They all screw together. Um, they're pretty simple to be honest it's a turn between centers kit um, if you have a four and a half millimeter drill hole through your piece then that will just push through if you drill a four millimeter hole then you'll have to screw that um, through your piece and exactly the same with that they are both stainless steel they look like chrome they're not chrome they're stainless steel and they are done to a mirror polish as you can see on there and mirror polished they're really nice kits i have to say i've made them and used them and they work really well the main thing i'm going to concentrate on today is the baby spoon and the principle of this is pretty much the same as um, the cheese servers um, i've done one here if i hold that up you can see i've had that on the little um, laser engraver and put thomas on there i'll just pull this apart so you can rather unscrew it so you can see there's a little chrome end on there this has got a four and a half millimeter hole in so the four and a half millimeter hole means i can pull that straight off and hopefully you heard that go zip as it went along it's a good fit on there and the other threaded parts can come off there which leaves us with just the spoon part here so what i'm going to do today is actually make a longer spoon and the way i'm going to do that is to take this threaded part and use a hacksaw and cut it in half and screw half in either end when I've turned the blank uh, you need to turn the blank first between centers um, screw these in and then the handle itself will elongate um, the kit so we'll just show you how it goes back together we screw that thread in there slightly there's a normal handle that'll pop ow, that'll pop on there like so mark your hand where that comes out the other end and that'll screw on there like so they're pretty simple to be honest but they do look very nice i'll get that handle turned around the right way there we go and it's all back together again so they're really really nice attractive kits um, but if you want a longer handle that's what i'm going to do in this video today so i've got my blank between centers here um, there are no bushings for this kit you really don't need bushings for every kit you make you need to measure it it's not difficult um, but you do need to measure the different parts of the kit um, they're around about um, 14 mils I think measure each one and make sure you get the correct sizes but of course it, it depends on how you want to shape each end as to what um, as to how they join together um, so I'm just going to turn and shape this now and then we'll look at putting the threads in either end and putting the kit together to make uh, a long um, maybe knickerbocker glory spoon because we're turning between centers if you want to you can take it off check the fit of your end piece on there like so see how it's going to fit see how it's going to look and we can pop it back on the lathe again and it will be in the same place there we go exactly as it was before um, i'm just going to do a bit of finishing now i think i might go and engrave our logo on there uh, and then come back and finish it So here's my little engraved piece um, and we'll pop it back on here. We're just going to finish it off now and then we'll look at inserting the thread. Just before we cut the thread, one little bit of advice. Because this is a spoon, I would advise putting some 
um, sealer or something on the end here because um, you don't want if it, you do use it and um, it has to be washed you don't want any moisture getting down there um, so a little bit of sealer in the end there would be ideal and you might as well do the same at the other end while you're at it so our thread is around about 70 millimeters long we're going to cut it about halfway i'm not even going to measure it because it's really not that <coughs> i'll just pop it in my very noisy vise and with my hacksaw cut it halfway So now we've got the two pieces. The next thing is to screw these into the handle, or rather put these in the vise and screw the handle onto these ends. Um, if you want to use your bench grinder just to take off the burrs on the end, you can do. Right, I have all my bits laid out in front of me. Um, those are the cheese knife sets I mentioned earlier. This is the original handle from the spoon. Um, if you want to use vices and things that's fine i think the easiest way to do it is this way um remember when i've done the blank i've done because the thread needs to actually bite into the wood this is a four millimeter hole that one that you saw me slide up and down was a four and a half millimeter hole so there's only half a millimeter in it anyway what i'm going to do is start off with the spoon end and i'm going to pop my half thread um, in on one end like so and I'm then going to pop my handle on and um, very boring for the camera to watch but I'm basically just going to screw that all the way on and then I'm going to do exactly the same with the other end it does take a bit of screwing but you want it to be nice and firm and solid Right, now is the time when we need to make sure that we get, and this is the time where you might need to pop it in the vise, because I've engraved this, I need to get the engraving on the right side, so I am going to need to pop that in the vise in a minute. For the time being, let's pop that one on there, and just screw the other end. Right, there we have that end on as well. So there we have um, the enormously long spoon. I just got the um, grips and used the grips just to adjust to the spoon for the uh, logo there um, because they obviously need to be the right way. So hopefully you can see that okay. Um, and there we have one extra long spoon. Um, if you wanted to do that with the cheese service sets you could, but to be honest they're, they're actually quite long those handles anyway. Um, and there you can see that um, how long it is compared to, I'll zoom out a, a little bit, how long it is compared to, to the others. Um, might actually be a little bit too long to be fair, but um, if you wanted a knickerbocker spoon, um, that would be ideal for getting down to the bottom of a knickerbocker jewellery. Um, again, stainless steel, mirror polished um, with that thread. Um, I will warn you now, we don't sell spare threads, so... Um, with this kit if you you can take the handles on and off until you get them right just don't damage the threads um, because they can't be replaced you have to buy a new kit not that they're very expensive they're not they're about them. so there we go uh, another um, enormously long spoon as i've said maybe i've gone a little bit over the top with the length on that this bit was 135 mils but it really is just to show you if you don't want a little handle you can make it as big as you want to um, with those because of the way the kit is designed um, it's a really nice kit it's quite nice and heavy for, for its size um, so I've had fun making that I hope you'll have fun too thanks very much for joining me again um, we'll see you in the next video take care bye bye for now